Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing something on here that I have never done before. I'm not quite sure why I haven't done it, but you know what, there's a first time for everything. And we'll definitely see if this is gonna be the last time based on how y'all react. Uh, so if you like what you see when we're done, make sure you like, comment, and share. Anyway, uh, this afternoon um, I decided that I wanted to make chili for dinner. It's one of my go-to meals that is very simple for me to do and it does not require a lot of work and it feeds a lot for an extended period of time. So rather than go to my normal go-to grocery store or order, order grocery delivery online, I decided to visit Sprouts. It's new in the area. Well, it's been here probably about a year, but I have not really had an opportunity to physically go in because I'm always busy. So I said to myself, myself said, what? And I said, let's go to Sprouts. So that's what I did. Sprouts is a uh, farmer's market type of grocery store where they have lots of organic things um, that you probably can't find elsewhere. It's very similar to another type of farmer's market-like grocery store, but we're not gonna mention that right now because I'm focusing on this Sprouts haul. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with what I'm making for dinner tonight. Like I said earlier, I'm making chili. So in this house, we are not ground beef people. I will eat ground beef to make a burger. I have absolutely no problem eating a steak, but I am just not a ground beef person. My husband converted me from ground beef to ground turkey. It's a leaner meat and um, it's overall more healthy for you, especially if you eat things that you cook that with a lot. So I started with some ground turkey um, they did not have um, multiple of the 93 uh, lean 7% fat so I ended up having to mix and match which is not a big deal to me so I have two one is 93% one is 99% so I'll go into the same place so whatever <laughs> then I ended up getting some chili seasoning and y'all gonna have to excuse my nails um, they need to be done but that's my business <laughs> and that's not what we're here for we're here to do this grocery haul so i got some chili seasoning and even on this packet here um it gives uh, a recipe if you want to do chili so it has ground turkey okay so sprouts is with it um ground turkey um kidney beans pinto beans whatever diced tomatoes so on and so forth so that's my chili seasoning um i also have um tomato puree uh because oh here you go so this is a sprouts tomato puree. Um, we actually do not really like tomatoes in this house, but we like what tomatoes produce. We like ketchup, we like tomato sauce, we like pasta sauce. So I went with this tomato puree because it gives me the benefit of having tomatoes without the hassle and just, you know, having tomatoes. So this is Sprouts Organic Passata Tomato Puree, and it was made in Italy. Next, we have our beans, right? So this is also the Sprouts brand. Uh, we have Great Northern beans because I always like to have some sort of white bean when I'm making chili. And we have dark red kidney beans because you have to have dark red kidney beans when you're making chili. So those are our ingredients for that. Next, I think I'm gonna cover what I'm gonna be doing for dinner either tomorrow or some other point during the week. It's probably gonna be tomorrow. And I am going to be making a roast. So um, this is the Butcher Shop brand um, by Sprouts. So you can see that here. Um, it is a little bit of a pricier meat. So that is one thing I'll say. Um, Sprouts meat is a little bit pricier than most stores, but you know, you get what you pay for. So I have absolutely no problem paying top dollar to get meat that I know is going to be quality. It's going to be healthy for me and it's going to give me what I'm looking for. And look at that color. Can we look at this color for a second? Okay, so this is um, a little bit over two and a third pound of um, boneless beef sirloin tip roast. So I'm going to be making this tomorrow in my Instant Pot because y'all know I love my Instant Pot. So I'm going to be making this tomorrow. Um, I do have a lot of the other things that I already needed. Um, I have tons and tons of seasonings and um, other vegetables that I'm going to put in it like garlic and onion and things of that nature. Um, but I did not have any more potatoes. And I am a fan of these little tiny potatoes. I think they cook a lot quicker. This is from 
Melissa. So Melissa, girl, I love your potatoes. So these are from Melissa's. I got two packets of these, and this is what I'm gonna use when I cook the roast. Um, so yeah, if you are a person, you don't like to kind of wait forever for your potatoes to cook, check out these little potatoes because they cook fast and they cook even. Then there's this. Whenever I'm cooking any type of red meat or a rice or a stew, I always like to have rosemary. So this is just the Sprouts brand of rosemary. It's fresh. I wish you could smell it through the screen, but unfortunately you can't. Uh, so if you want to smell it, you're going to have to go to Sprouts to do that, but you can never have too much fresh rosemary. And then my favorite ingredient from when I'm making a roast, especially if it's going to be in a slow cooker or anything like that, is red wine uh, because it helps to seal in the flavor after you sear your outside, of course, um, to make sure that you know you keep all the, all of those juices in. But I always like to um, cook it with red wine because it just gives it some oomph. So this is um, Smoking Loon Wine Company, the original Smoking Loon, and it's a cab. Um, so take a look at that. Oh, and it says. All right, so now that we have dinner out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to breakfast, which happens to be my favorite meal of the day. So, we gotta start with our eggs. Funny story, when I was a child, I had a thing for brown eggs. Um, obviously, I still do, <laughs> judging by these. Um, these are farmhouse eggs, and they are produced by cage-free hens. So, yep, free the hens. There you go. And, but when I was little, I had a thing with brown eggs. Like, it had to be brown eggs. And now that I'm thinking about this, I also love brown sugar, which I forgot to get. I'll worry about that when I go back to the store. But I always wanted brown eggs. And it got to a point where my mom actually had to trick me into thinking that the eggs that she was making was brown because I refused to eat the white eggs. I don't know. Don't ask me. I have no idea. I was only like two or three. But... Yes, so these are jumbo brown eggs. We love to have eggs with our breakfast in the morning, whether they're scrambled or boiled, and got those from Sprouts. And moving on with breakfast, the next thing that we always love to have is oatmeal. It's very filling, it's easy to make in the mornings, especially when you're at home e-learning and working from home. But what's even easier about oatmeal is when you have overnight oats. And I picked up these overnight oats that are made by Mush. I hope you can see those turn it over so you can see these are dairy free overnight oats and i just want to take a second to give a shout out to mush i want to thank you guys for uh seeing fit uh, to set me up with these i really really appreciate it uh, but these are overnight oats where you really don't have to do much at all they're made with six simple ingredients they are soaked in dairy free milk and this one in particular is blended with vanilla bean. So I'm just gonna read off the ingredients for you all real quick just so you can see how simple this really is. There's almond milk, rolled oats, um, dates, pure vanilla extract, and sea salt. So there's literally six ingredients. And um, the nutrition content is good, it's gluten-free, it's vegan, it's kosher, it's all the things. So um, I got the vanilla bean and I also got the apples and cinnamon and this apples and cinnamon one I got for Kamala because she loves apple cinnamon oatmeal so that's what we're gonna do we're about to shave so much time off of our breakfast routine by having these overnight oats so thank you again mush I really 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 appreciate it and now that we have breakfast covered we're gonna move on to snacks because I don't know about y'all but I love snacks and every little kid loves snacks it's like their meal stomach gets filled really quickly but their snack stomach is bottomless <laughs> so when i first walked into sprouts today i saw these i saw the cookie case so sprouts y'all got me well played well played i saw the cookie case and um i grabbed these two um this one i'm not really sure what this is like they they look like sugar cookies like y'all gonna have to write in the comments and tell me what y'all think this is but they look like sugar cookies that are just like very you know lightly frosted so I'm going to try them later. I'll let y'all know what they are, but they look like sugar cookies. So I got these and then I also got these bars. So um, my, here you go. 
So my husband is also a snacker and I try to get snacks that aren't so snacky and bad because I know he's going to snack. <laughs> so um, these are bars. They're obviously made with oats. I think there's toffee. I see some nuts in here. I see chocolate chips and they just look like a guilt free snack that tastes really guilty. And that's my kind of snack. So got those. And then last but not least, when I was in the checkout line, so yes, Sprouts, y'all also got me with the um, <laughs> the impulse buying. Uh, I got this gum from Xylachu. Xylachu? Xylachu. Um, so I got that. This one is the spearmint for me. And then I got the fruit for Kamala. Uh, because you got to have fresh breath. <laughs> so... Um, I figured since it has no sugars or artificial sweeteners and, you know, it's in sprouts, which means that it has to be healthy. Um, I just grabbed these when we were checking out or when I was checking out because it was just me. So that is my sprouts haul. I'm going to do um, more of these depending on, you know, how y'all feel about them. I'm happy to continue sharing what it is that I get at the store. And that's all I got for y'all today. So if you have not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Put the little bell on so you can get the notifications when I publish new content. And until then, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.